Many teens send innocent pictures to each other of themselves being, well, teenagers. However, a study conducted by the National Campaign has evidence that 20% of all teens are sending sexually explicit messages to each other, a new trend commonly known as sexting. Any time that someone takes a picture and sends it to somebody else with their consent, that third party sends that picture off to somebody else, um, that could land them in hot water. Uh, I think it's a bad idea. I think sex scenes wrong and weird. They didn't have permission to send that off. Uh, without a doubt, there'd be probably school consequences that, that could happen. Personally, I think it's a bad idea. I don't think sexting is bad. Because um, I think that sexting is pointless. Because and, and depending upon the specifics of the case, it could be criminal charges as well. These private pictures that are sent only to their boyfriend or girlfriend are pictures of them nude or semi-nude. And when they send these pictures, they're doing the same thing as many other teens, sexting. By sending or posting one of these pictures, anyone else can get it or send it to anyone else. So you have no control of where it will go. Many people can get the message rather than just that person if you don't trust them. Because if you don't, they can forward it to everybody else. You might trust your boyfriend or girlfriend with a picture you send them, but who said that the two of you will be together forever? You don't know if you're going to be with that person forever, and they can always use those against you. Yes. Statistics show 36% of teen girls and 39% of teen guys say it's common for these kinds of pictures to be shared with other people. And if the person in the photograph didn't want other people to see their picture, they would have to try to endure the embarrassment. Although statistics show 66% of teen girls and 60% of teen guys say they have done it to be fun or flirtatious. Like you shouldn't really have to do that or anything. But, like, I don't know, like, I think it's just a bunch of kids trying to act grown up through, like, phone, phones and stuff, basically, that's all. So many teens do this for so many different reasons. One reason is teens like to test out their sexuality by sending nude pictures. Pointless, because you're just exposing yourself, it's easy, and, like, honestly, it, like, causes no pleasure, so I don't really understand it myself. By teens sending pictures of themselves to others, there could be many consequences, including having a record as a sexual predator and time in prison. Well, if someone had pictures of an inappropriate nature, whether it be a male or a female, and they distributed them unbeknownst to that person without their permission, then, then in that case, uh, it, it probably would be. Even if the photos aren't that inappropriate, there will still be school consequences. Well, the consequences, uh, obviously each case is, is individual, so we would need to look at and talk to the person who is pictured on the phone. Um, and that person, you know, if the person's unaware of it or has, you know, didn't, didn't want those pictures out there, um, you could be looking at penal code violations as well as ed code violations. So ed code violations would be, you know, on our part, suspensions, expulsions, depending on the nature of, you know, of what's on there. Um, and there are some of those things that are, you know, not as severe as some of the other ones that, that students are sexting to one another. Um, the penal code side of it gets pretty in depth and from my understanding from the police um, that are on our campus is that that could actually be a child pornography violation and so um, you know it's a pretty big you know situation that you deal with when you deal with the police so um, as far as the, the extent of it with them I'm not sure but as far as us we take it real seriously and we work with parents and kids and if we find out that that stuff's going on uh, depending on the nature of it, like I said you could be looking at a suspension or expulsion depending on how serious you know the content is on the phone. Aside from the consequences some people say it doesn't matter and if someone does send their picture they shouldn't get in trouble. Um, if you want to do that sure that's fine I mean it's their decision and I don't think it should be prosecuted or anything because, you know, it's your own choice. If you want to do it, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Before you think to start or continue sexting, think about the consequences for you or the person you're sending the pictures to. And remember that 20% of all teenagers are sexting. So at our school, about 260 students are sexting. This is Crystal Campos reporting for Ch Channel 5 Titan TV.